please forgive me for not reminding you all to make sure that you save your edit every time before you go to unload and reload the plugin. Keep that in mind. Every time you edit, make sure you save. What's up guys, what's up? I came in here back on another video. Today is a GTA V LSPDFR video, but it is not a patrol, it's a tutorial. I've looked all over the web and I haven't seen a tutorial yet on how to edit the dash cam V settings. Um, I personally have just found out how to do this. Um, so, I'm going to be working with the Sheriff Ford Explorer here. And I'm just going to get in and show you what it is by default, okay? When I go to dash cam V, this is what I get. I just get no no hood, none of that. Just straight up a free camera, basically. Now, we want to have this look like a dash cam with the hood, the push bar, maybe the lights if the dash cam is set up right but i'm going to show you guys how to fix that today you're going to need of course rage hook you're going to need dash cam v and a vehicle that supports dash cam v you're also going to need the dash cam v dot i and i which basically is the settings so right now we are driving the sheriff suv which is also known as sheriff which should be somewhere here sheriff sheriff 2 sheriff 2 here we go all right so right now by offset let's i just want to go over this with you guys correct me if i'm wrong x is left to right y is back and forth z is up and down okay guys this isn't 2D, this is 3D, which is why Y isn't the up and down anymore. So, once again, Z is up and down, Y is front and back, and X is left and right. All right? Now, let's get started here. So, first you wanna just visualize, okay, this is your dash cam. Of course it's set up right there but we want it centered so it's it's it looks like it's low it looks like it's low so I'm gonna assume that we should of course move it back some move it up a tiny bit and that's it so of course you're gonna go to whichever vehicle you're using at the moment so at this moment I'm using sheriff 2 so once again it's low so we're going to do maybe 30 just an estimate and for the y we're going to move it back 0. Point, i'm gonna go ahead and guess and let's do 60. okay now this is i've never i've never done this with this taurus in particular so i'm going to be doing this for myself as well so guys just learn with me okay so now what you want to do is F4. I've already tight I've already loaded it in. I can just press home and do unload. But for those who don't have or you know who don't have it typed in, you do unload, plugin, press tab, then you're gonna to go to dash cam v, press tab again, and then press enter. It unloads dash cam v. Now if you want to do this quickly, you can just press up, press home, press home again so it takes away the um rockstar page you're just going to type un it doesn't have to be uppercase it could be lowercase you press unload but in this case i've already done that so we just press load now that it's loaded you're just going to go back into dash cam v and as you can see it's probably a bit higher so we need to start by moving it back if we can move it back we can actually determine what we need to do so let's set this to 20. all right let's set this to 20. We're going to go in game, load, unload the unload the plugin, load the plugin. Now yeah. you're gonna to want to look again. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. We can see the push bar. So maybe we should 
bring this to just 10, uh, bring this down to just 1.0, right? Unload it and load it. Let's try again. Okay, we've gotten somewhere. So now, from what it looks like, we need to bring the dash cam lower and bring it further a little bit, right? So we'll do 30. I will put this at about 80, 0 0.80, and we'll see what we get. Unload the plugin and load the plugin. That's constantly what you're going to be doing. Once you configure the settings, unload the plugin and load the plugin. Check again. Okay, we've gotten somewhere. Now the dash cam is lowered. We need to move it forward. So and we're moving it forward. We're going to make the number greater for the Y axis offset Y. So let's move this to maybe let's just do 65. Okay. 55. And now we're going to unload the plugin, load the plugin. And now let's check again. We're getting closer to what we've been doing already or what we've got so far. We've just stepped up big time. Okay. We're now starting to get the dash cam on a roll. We've got the carjacking and Grande <laughs> Sonora Desert. LSPDFR is funny. Okay. I don't have call outs available, but we have the um, random call out generator. That's just, you know, things that happen in areas such as, you know, carjackings, fights, muggings, and all that stuff. Um, but back to what we're doing here. So right now we have the actual window. We're inside the window. We need to be facing just a little bit out of the window. So let's go ahead and bring this up to, let's say 60, 66. It can be any number guys. It's to your liking, okay? So what we're gonna do here is unload the plugin, load the plugin. And once again, that's all you're gonna be doing after you configure the settings. Unload and load, all right? Let's try again. We are close <laughs> let's go ahead and bring this to 71 all right whoa let's do this unload load now we can see just a little bit under the hood which means we need to move it up tiny bit more let's do 75 all right guys let's do 75 here <laughs> 75 perfect perfect we just configured our dash cam for the Ford Explorer now we can drive around They won't see our lights unless you move the camera back a little bit. You'll be able to see the dash light. If people want to do that, if you want to be able to see a little bit of the dash light, um, we can try seeing what it looks like at night first, okay? There we go. You can see the lights. So, if you want to see the dash light actually like flickering, you can see it a little bit. You'll want to move the dash cam back a little bit. But let's get back to our location. Beautiful. Creative Cloud just gets in my way. So today we just configured our dash cam, guys. If you need more help, send me your Steam name. I will contact you. We can get into a Discord and um, I can help you guys out from there. Alright? Once again, one shot gaming. Or one shot, yeah, one shot gaming. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully this helps a lot of you. If you guys feel as if this tutorial has still not helped you understand, once again, leave your Steam name in the comment section. I will add you and I will help you from there. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your dash cam V. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Have a good one.